Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPhone 8 or 8 Plus. I'm gonna show you how you can add multiple languages to your keyboard. Very, very simple. Now you can see here, I have several languages here. Okay, I have the English, the emoji, and I have Chinese in here as well. So every time I want to switch between English, emoji, or Chinese, what I would simply do is press and hold down this globe button here. And the thing is, once you add multiple languages, all the keyboards are going to be the same. Doesn't matter what application you're using, if you're using WhatsApp, Line, Facebook Messenger, your regular text messaging app, or anything, it's all going to be the same. So again, if I wanted to change to like Chinese, so if I press and hold the globe down here, press and hold, and then you can see the other languages here, okay? So for example, if I wanted to go ahead and type in Chinese, just tap on Chinese here, and then I can type in like, hello, I can type in uh, Ni Hao, how you write it in Chinese, and you can see the Chinese writing up there. And rather than pressing and holding down the change to another language, I could also go ahead and just like tap it. Okay, so now it's on English. I'll tap it again. It's on emojis now. I'll tap it again. It's on English. So let's go ahead and add another language in here, okay? So first thing I want you to do is go into your settings, and then from here, go into general, and then go to keyboard, and then right here it says keyboards. It says I have three on here, okay? So go ahead and tap on that, and you can see, again, the three language keyboards I have on here, English, Emoji, and Chinese Simplified. So if I wanted to add a new keyboard language, I type in add new keyboard, tap on that, and let's put another one on here. Let me just go ahead and add Korean on here. And you can see all the other languages that they have on here. I mean, just tons of other languages. Let's just go to Korean right here. And then right here is the type of layout keyboard. I'll keep this one on standard. I'll click on done. And now I can see in the bottom here is Korean. So right now, if I go directly to my text messaging app, now I'm gonna have Korean in here. If I press and hold down the globe, here we go. I want Korean right there. If I want another language, press and hold. I can go back to English here. Or like I said, you can just keep tapping the globe here. So there's English, here's emojis here. Here's Chinese. Here's Korean, and we're back to English. Now, if you want to go ahead and delete a language, simply go back into your settings. And then let's say, for example, I want to delete Korean. Simply just click on Edit on the top right-hand corner, and then delete the language that you want to delete. So here's Korean. I'll go ahead and tap on that, and I'll press on Delete. And then you got to press on Done to confirm. There you go. Korean is now gone. So if I go into my text messaging app again, and I click and hold down the globe, Korean is gone. So pretty simple. Guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.